Bueno. I'm just playing. All right, what's up, you guys? It is your girl, Eternal Femme, and I am back with another reading for the sign of Aquarius. Summarizing Venus, North Node, or any of the heavy placements in your chart. Please be sure to like this video if it resonate. Comment down below if you felt the vibe and subscribe. And if the reading don't resonate today, maybe next time. Welcome back to the channel, you guys, and welcome to all the new subscribers. And welcome to all of you who are new. Let's see what spirit has for you. But I will say, if you win the lottery, please don't forget about me. Okay? Don't forget about me. Don't forget about me. When you hit them threes, don't forget about me. Hey, 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 hey. I'm sorry. Don't forget about me. Don't. When you hit them three, say hey, the star is out first. All right, Aquarius, you got some. I'm telling you, with the chariot, no. Mm. Keep the faith, baby. One day that sun gonna shine. I don't know if y'all been wishing on a little star, praying for a miracle. You gonna get a miracle. You gonna get a miracle. All right, what we got? Five of Wands in reverse, Holy Spirit. What's this? All right, all right. What's this? Oh, we got the Shaman card. Mm. May the odds be in your favor. We got the Queen of Coins. We got the Page of Coins in reverse. I don't know, a little bit of a procrastination energy. I don't know if y'all been praying. To get them ops out your circle, get them ops out your way, and get them people out your energy. Now you are a powerful shaman here. Somebody here is a powerful manifest. I'm asking as well, like you speak things into existence. I'm getting some of y'all, you're gonna be like, you're gonna wake up and just be stable, or all your problems are gonna be solved here. I don't know what you've been doing. You've been putting in some work, may have went through a period of procrastination, but I feel like things are gonna start coming, coming through for you. Things are going to start coming together for you. I see a partnership. What's this Holy Spirit? We got the Eight of Wands here. What's the Eight of Wands in reverse? We got the King of Cups here. So I don't know if you blocked somebody recently or, or uh, cut somebody off from coming towards you. Or you slow down communication with whoever this is. Excuse me, so they could be trying to manifest you or something, or some of y'all, I don't know. Yeah, seven of wands here is in reverse. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like somebody is intimidated by you. Yeah, somebody's going to back down. Yeah, somebody is backing down. Yeah, you're going to be celebrating or you're going to get a victory here. Yeah, especially, I don't know if somebody was trying to come up against you or I don't know what they was doing. But uh, you're, you're more powerful than whoever this is. Um, they're going to back down. Yeah, the strength card in reverse. Yeah, somebody, I don't know, somebody thought they was on your level. Yeah, nine of swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like somebody is tormented here or somebody is, is somebody's like, yeah, I feel like you don't have to worry about this person. I feel like somebody is powerless or they're going to give up. They don't have the willpower. Yeah, you have a, a, a your, your beginning or your money or your stability is protected. So I don't know, maybe somebody was trying to wish against you or compete or, like I said, I don't know, y'all pray. Yeah, somebody was definitely, yo, see, I'm also getting a hidden enemy. So yeah, you had like a secret enemy or a secret op. Yeah, we got the nine of coins in reverse. Yeah, they could have been faking their lifestyle. They could have been trying to like come towards you or attach themselves to you or use you financially because they were struggling or they're codependent or maybe they try to make you codependent or they try to say something about your weight or somebody try to make you feel insecure yeah i feel like somebody's a secret hater or somebody's a, a secret enemy they was your op anyway what's this holy spirit yeah i'm getting a miracle is about to come in your life or somebody's about to see miracles happen in your life i'm getting somebody thought like they were going to come in and kind of like knock you off your square but they're actually very intimidated by you what's this yeah, because Page of Cups. 
Yeah, I'm getting you healed a uh, inner childhood wound that you used to have. I don't know if you like used to deal with some sort of insecurity. Uh, I'm getting your past that. I'm getting somebody thought they were going to come in and kind of like hate on you and you were going to like back down or like back out or feel insecure. I'm getting, no, I'm getting you went stronger. Or somebody is realizing you're a lot more powerful than they thought. Yeah, I'm getting somebody underestimated your power. Like this is literally your power though. Like your ability to create or manifest. Yeah, page of swords. Yeah, I'm getting somebody's watching you shaking though. Like somebody is really intimidated by you. By your ability to create. Why are they so intimidated, Holy Spirit? Especially if they betrayed you, stabbed you in your back, they're scared that you're going to retaliate or they're scared of karma. What's this? Yeah, four coins in reverse. That's why they're scared. I feel like this person is, they're insecure in their, their placement. Like maybe they're not stable. They don't have no stability right now. I don't know. Maybe this person's uh, stability situation, stable situation or home living arrangements is unstable or they're uncertain about like, if they're going to be able to stay where they are or if they're if their job is serious or something there's something like either somebody's on the edge of losing their job or somebody's on the edge of losing their stability so somebody is like very insecure about their place right now because their foundation is rocky okay um but for some reason they thought they was about to come over here and like attack you or they thought they was about to like trigger you or make you feel insecure because they're insecure i'm getting that didn't work i'm getting you either block them or stop talking to them or some shit yeah i'm getting that was their whole plan but i'm getting it got cut short because y'all just was like yeah okay fuck you bye okay yeah not a cups in reverse i'm telling you like somebody thought they was gonna take advantage of you emotionally or play on your feelings or this is what they're gonna try to do i'm getting you don't feel guilty or you're not gonna feel any type of way i'm asking as well somebody's like you don't feel bad you don't feel bad about I'm asking as well, like somebody felt like you should endure some sort of suffering because of, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, somebody may even try to argue with you. Yeah, they may try to make you feel some type of way or something. Somebody is stuck. Yeah, ten of swords. I'm getting they betrayed you in the past. Especially if you were going through something in your life, they could have ghosted you or left you behind while you were going through some sort of struggle here. But I'm getting, even if that was, okay, I'm getting, this is not your fight. Yeah, we got the Ten of Coins in reverse. Justice in reverse. Eight of Swords. Somebody could even be facing jail time. Um, I'm also getting plagiarism or something. I'm, I don't know if somebody was like, signing their, signing names or somebody was doing something illegal. I'm getting a lot of people lost money or a lot of people invested in. They lost their money or something. Or this person lost all their money. I'm also getting like somebody bets. I was getting at the beginning of the reading. I don't know if somebody gambles. But um, somebody sacrificed everything or somebody is stuck. What's the page of coins? Four cups in reverse. I don't know. I feel like this person is having like a tantrum. Like they're having an emotional outburst. Um, yeah, I'm getting crying over spilled milk. I'm getting somebody has to like backtrack or like retrace their steps what does that got to do with you oh ten of cups in reverse yeah this person lost all their supporters or this person i'm getting i'm getting a lot of people turned their back i'm getting somebody lost a lot of money or somebody yeah the world in reverse somebody lost all their supporters or something because somebody lost all the money or I don't know if people are invested this could even be like a business I'm getting somebody here went either bankrupt or a business went bankrupt or somebody got a bunch of donations for products or maybe people well, these are sales like somebody's selling a product but I'm getting they are out of the product but they collected the sales there's something going on here People paid for a service that they're not receiving or something.
What's this? Yeah, the two of coins are reversed because somebody is not stable. I'm getting somebody is not making enough money to regenerate something or refill something. Somebody either has more money going out than coming in. So I'm getting somebody invested all their money on something, but they don't have a, they're, they're not getting enough sales. But they put a lot of money into it though. So they have to like get those sales back, but they're not. Okay. What's this? Yeah, the nine of wands. Yeah, somebody, somebody is very, uh, somebody's trying to hurt your feelings or make you feel insecure, like I was saying at the beginning. Uh, somebody wants you to get five of swords. They're very spiteful. They're jealous. This is probably that same energy. Um, they're spiteful. They're jealous. They broke. Like, what the fuck that got to do with you? I'm getting somebody's trying to take their struggle out on you. Okay. What's this? Yeah, six of coins reverse, especially if you're not going to help them. Like, somebody was expecting, yeah, ten of swords. So, somebody's, yeah, they're betraying you behind your back because you didn't take them out of the cold. I'm getting as well. Like, somebody was expecting you to offer them some money or some shit. Yeah. Somebody's like, you're you not going to offer me no money? No. The fuck? Who the fuck do you think you is? What's this? Yeah, man, five of swords. I'm telling you, they're spiting you, talking about you behind your back. Like, somebody is angry. <laughs> somebody is so mad. They're so mad. <laughs> they is so mad. They're like, so you're not going to offer me no money? So you're not going to offer me a place? It's like your cousin, like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't got nowhere to go, you know what I'm saying? And, hey, you know, hey, that's your business. But I'm getting somebody's like mad because they thought you was going to be like, yeah, you come sleep on my couch. But, I mean, if you feel like you can't trust them or you feel like they, maybe they deceived you in the past, lied to you in the past, and you're like, hell no, you can't come stay over here. But, I, I mean, I'll pray for you, you know. Maybe you gave them some resources. I don't know. Somebody was expecting you to either give them a handout or get them a place to stay. So, they're mad. They're gossiping about you, spreading hate about you out of spite. They're like, how dare you? How, yeah, I'm telling you, the devil, they're obsessed too. Like, they're obsessively talking about you. Like, I'm getting the word of the town. Somebody's like telling everybody. I'm feeling I can't make these readings up the moon. So, somebody's telling all your secrets. And maybe they're telling people about how they slept. I don't know if you slept with this person. Or they're telling people how they slept with you and it was horrible. Or it was the wrong choice. They should have never did that. And yeah, somebody's like arguing and telling everybody everything that they feel about you. Now that y'all not cool or whatever the case is. Yeah, Eight of Cups because you walked away or you need to take the higher road. Somebody's fucking lame. Uh, this could be anybody. Yeah, temperance. I feel like you're very balanced and you don't want nobody to come in and block your blessings. Um, yeah, somebody is in, a, very insecure because you're putting in work or you've you've made a lot of progress in them and they're freaking heartbroken. Like, they're betrayed. Like, excuse me, somebody is hurt. So they're trying to hurt other people. That's what I'm getting. Somebody's trying to take their pain, take their struggle out on everybody. Nope, you're not going to do that. Sorry, have a nice day. Yeah, Queen of Swords. I feel like y'all set a boundary or you told somebody to shut the fuck up, period. What's this, Holy Spirit? You ain't got shit to say to them. Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. I'm getting some of y'all, you try to offer them support. They poured your cup out. Like, I don't want no support. Give me the money or I don't care about you. Like, okay, well, bye. Shit. <laughs> yeah, the full in reverse. Like, somebody's very reckless, too. Like, they're they're angry at the life, at the world, at God, whoever. They're mad. Yeah, not, they're doing things out of impulse. Like, somebody's reckless. Somebody even could be recklessly driving, recklessly drinking, drunk and driving. Yeah, drinking and driving. What's this, Holy Spirit? Somebody's drinking and driving, doing the most. Yeah, King of Wands, that makes them feel good. Somebody's like, I can see they silly ass. <laughs> this is too funny. I'm so sorry. This is not funny in this situation, but I'm saying, like, I can see somebody like, hitting the switches like where are you going where are you going go home get some sleep go home this person could be married yeah man i can't make this with the four wands um um they could be married like with a house and a wife and kids or some shit what's this like go home to your family sir yeah six of cups like okay what's the six of cups yeah, seven of cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody here trying to come back to you or come back towards you. They ain't got no other options. Yeah, three of cups. Somebody's, they have third party. You could be a third party. Someone's like, come here. I need you, baby. I'm not happy at home. 
even though I told everybody your secrets, like somebody, oh, be careful. They could have nudes. I don't know if they have nudes of you, okay? This person's very spiteful. What's this? Yeah, the king of coins. Like somebody's offering you a marriage or a commitment. They already married or in a relationship. Um, yeah, but they want to work on something with you, but they're hurting or they're in a marriage that they it's a lot of heartbreak or something like that. They feel like you're yeah, somebody feels like cheating on their spouse is gonna solve the problem. I don't know who this is for y'all. Somebody's like, yeah, the magician in reverse, ace on yeah, it's not gonna work. Ten of swords, yeah, they want you to they want to cause suffering because yeah, somebody's very passive aggressive because you moved on or you rejected them. So they want you to believe like you're not gonna be create be able to create a life for yourself unless they're in it. So somebody's like, I'm the best you'll ever have. Yeah, you left me, you don't want me, I'm the best you ever have, you're lame or yeah, somebody believes like they're your best option or you're the best they're gonna they're they're the best you're ever gonna get or somebody's lame. What's this Holy Spirit? Yeah, the Ace of Swords. So yeah, this whole reading is just gonna give you some sort of clarity if if it resonates, but <laughs> Whoever this is, I don't know, baby. They're gonna, yeah, they feel like you owe them. What do you owe them? Look, time to use your give, give back, spend time. Somebody says, somebody feel like you should give them some money. Time to give. They feel like you owe them. Somebody feel like you need to give them that money. I'm so sorry this reading is all over the place. They're all over the place. I'm getting, somebody is like panicking or y'all need to be careful because this person could be a little delusional, a little psychotic a little irrational okay i know i'm laughing but on some real shit this person's energy is very reckless like very reckless okay mm -hmm. they could be trying to get in communication with you talk to you um get reach your phone number being accountable what's this royal dna custody issues so yeah some of y'all i don't know if you're going through dna situation with this person this person could be trying to get a dna some of y'all this person is ducking the system i don't know if they got a baby on the way but they could be trying to duck a, a, a dna test or i don't know if you need a dna test from them but they're definitely ducking a dna test for whatever reason um because with the custody issues this person may not want to pay child so i'm getting there in debt they're broke so of course they're not trying to pay child support um, but for some reason, they're trying to get money from you, though. This is weird. I'm getting somebody is a deadbeat, whether this is a mother or a father, but they want money. Yeah, we got family betrayal, antichrist. Yeah, y'all, y'all, some of y'all be careful because your family could be communicating with this person or telling this person your business or this is their family. Um... Somebody is talking to this person. Yeah, I can't make these readings up. Business partner. So I don't know if they're making transactions with each other. Um, trying to get information on you or some shit. Yeah, I'm telling you, opportunists trying to get information on you. I don't know why. But these people are trying to get some sort of information on you. Yeah, because they're envious people showing you fake love, copying you out for themselves. I'm telling y'all, y'all got fake ass family members who willing to betray you for some fucking money. They willing to get in your business and hope that you tell this person, tell them your business so they can tell this person. That's what I'm getting. I'm also getting as well the dark web. It's crazy because I was watching a show the other day called the dark web and now it's giving the dark web. It's like y'all dealing with people who will sell you out for money. They will put you in the hands of your enemies. So just be careful. Okay. Yeah, we have addictions, overgiving, isolated, lonely, insecure, inheritance. Yeah, somebody is also, they have addictions, but they're insecure about some sort of inheritance, whether this is your inheritance or someone else's. But I feel like this person is insecure about you coming up on some money or being successful. We have your child needs you, poverty, homelessness, stand up for yourself, warning, red flags, time is running out collaboration that's what i'm getting some of y'all this person may be trying to come towards you because they're dealing with some sort of poverty but i'm getting y'all i'm telling you right now this is a red flag keep your boundary if you have a guard up with this person keep your boundary because time is running out with the collaboration i'm getting these people are like working together endlessly to cause some sort of confrontation or or cause some sort of conflict in your life but i'm getting they're running out of time 
Yeah, this is a confirmation reading that you guys may already be aware of. Maybe you already know this or this is your confirmation reading to if you are listening to your intuition, you have some sort of inkling that this may resonate with you. Please listen because I'm getting a little bit of a, a dangerous energy. Yeah, because you have will of fortune. Luck is on your side. Yeah, you are being protected, but just be aware of your surroundings is what I'm getting. Yeah, because you, you could be dealing with a thief. A potential thief who's trying to steal your identity. I was getting that. I'm getting the dark web or some shit like that. I'm getting these people. Y'all got somebody. <clears throat> Y'all got somebody trying to either sell you to the dark web or somebody is into that shit. Okay. So just be careful. Sex. Um, sex. I'm getting human trafficking as well. I'm so sorry. This is for somebody in particular. You're going to know who I'm talking about. Okay. I'm getting these people are the type of people who will. Uh, get involved in really dark stuff because they are that desperate for money, especially if they're on drugs. All right, I'm getting that. I'm getting these people been in this type of lifestyle, or some of y'all they introduced either your family introduced them to this, or there somebody is introducing this stuff to family members, so they're like willing to like sell you out. What's this? Yeah, this is revenge. This is their revenge. These people feel like you deserve this. Why? Past loved one is coming through. What's this, Holy Spirit? Why do they feel like Aquarius deserves this? Narcissist. This person, oh, they feel like you're doing black magic or some shit. They feel like you're a narcissist. You're doing black magic. You're trying to ruin their life. You ruined their life or you're doing spell work on them. Why? Why do they think this? What's this? Faith and a death. Wow. Somebody somebody could have lost a family member or something. And they think you did that shit. They think you 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 uh you a uh, spiritual assassin. Uh we have faith and a death, yeah. They think you prayed about this or you wished this on somebody. Somebody somebody thinks you wished you wished death on one of their loved ones. Wow, so these people, I'm telling y'all, these people want to bring you down. They think you wish death on one of their loved ones. This is like somebody's crazy. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling y'all. I'm, I'm telling y'all, somebody is crazy. Somebody is like thinking you, uh, if they lost like a family member in their life, they think you did that shit. Through spirituality or some shit. They think you a spiritual assassin. Yeah, set up. I'm telling you, they're trying to set you up. They think you, you they think you assassinated somebody spiritually or some shit. Cause I'm getting, I'm getting. When you leave people's life, they experience a death. Whether it's a family member, whether it's something in their in their life, it's because these people, and that's that's the crazy thing about it. Because being accountable, these people are being held accountable for their actions. Whether this is actually legal wise or this is spiritually wise, and because of that, these people are mad because they're reaping karma. Every time you leave their life, they experience a huge transformation because. They got to pay that. And some of y'all, you are, I ain't going to lie, you a chosen one. Some of y'all, you are uh, um, very powerful. Your energy is very potent. And when you come into people's lives, you bring transformation. And whether it's good or bad, I feel like a lot of you guys, you stand up for what is right. And whatever is not right, it falls away at the wayside when you come into its presence. So if somebody comes into your life and being who you are, especially if you have such a good nature, when you come into people's lives and you you do right by them and you try your best to expose them to new ways of life, if they fucking betray you, if they betray you, if they, if they, sorry y'all, if they betray you, if they stab you in your back, Some of y'all, it's not even your fault. Like, some of y'all, though, these people just delusional. But <laughs> others of y'all, no, if they betray you, that's why I tell people all the time when they be like, no, nah, no, nah, you probably gonna retaliate. Nah, I'm not about to retaliate on nothing. I'm about to go on my healing journey. If you betray me, I'm about to go focus on healing. I'm not gonna focus on retaliating because God got my back. My ancestors, my sphere guides, whoever rocking with me got my back. I'm not about to retaliate on nothing. I'm about to stay focused and keep going. And that's why I always tell people, and I always give that advice to people. You don't never have to do a return to sender. You don't never have to wish ill on nobody. You don't have to do that. You're supposed to take the higher road. Because I'm telling you now, y'all don't be knowing the type of stuff. People be faking their lifestyles, y'all. 
They be sitting there trying to make it seem like to y'all that that karma ain't whooping their ass. And it is. It is. Y'all got people here trying to pin things on you because things are happening in their life and they feel like it's happening. And it's crazy because it's, it, they don't want to take accountability. They don't want to take accountability and accept that they were wrong. They really believe that whatever they did to you was justified. Justice is in reverse. It was not justified. They were wrong. They had no reason to do it. They did it out of spite or jealousy or just out of a pure broken heart. And because of that, they feel like because of their broken heart or their pain, everybody else is supposed to suffer. And that's their excuse. No, you get in karma, my guy. Yeah, I'm, nah, I can't make these reasons up. They're looking for any reason to say something. They're looking for any reason to blame you for their fuck-ups. For the reason why they're getting karma. Yeah, spiritual hater. That's why they're mad. They're mad because you're spiritually protected. They're mad because you're right. They mad. They like, nah, you 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 doing that witchcraft because you nah, you just trying to find any reason to pin your karma on me. Somebody's trying to find any reason to take their struggle out on you. They're trying to pin something on they need somebody to blame, they're gonna blame you. Why? Because you're doing good. Or better than them. And I can't make these readings up, karma. I wasn't going to post this reading. I'm not going to lie to you, but no, I'm about to post it. Somebody's getting karma. They're getting karma. Whoever these people is, family members who, who betrayed you. I'm getting something about the dark web. I don't know if your family members know about this or this person was collaborating with somebody to do something on the dark web. Yeah, they fucking knew about that shit. Um, they're getting karma too. I'm getting whoever this ex is or whoever this person over here who was trying to play in your face feel like you owe them something and they were mad or they tried to play you or whatever this person tried to do. They're getting karma too. They're having issues with their stability. They're feeling insecure about their stability. They're like, damn, I don't know if I'm going to be stable today. They could have been an opportunist. Maybe they were using you or they did just used you for something in particular some of y'all if you were like dealing with this person they could have taken advantage of you sexually as well yeah y'all getting they getting karma all these people getting karma look your guys are proud of you they're proud of you for standing up for yourself for stepping into your purpose for taking a leap of faith on yourself for believing for believing look congratulations i'm telling y'all congratulations you're about to get some sort of news or your guys are telling you some of y'all, is it you have um, leveled up in some sort of way. Some of y'all, you've leveled up spiritually. Or this could just be you're about to experience a level up in your life financially. Uh, yeah, so it says make a routine. You guys um, make a balance or make a routine or set a routine. And I'm telling you, once you put this routine into play, things are going to come manifest a lot faster for you, okay? Look. You don't owe them anything. Man, I can't make this up. You don't owe anyone anything. You don't owe them shit. Don't let them make you feel guilty. Nothing. Know your worth. You don't owe them nothing. These people think you owe them something. No, you don't. Yeah, keep your boundaries. If you got a boundary with they ask, keep it. Because it's actually saving your life. What's this? Yeah, release expectations. Okay, so some of y'all, maybe this is a situation where you expect things to happen overnight. Know that you are enough. And you are doing your best and your best is enough. That's what I'm getting. So if you are doing your best and things are taking its time to grow, that's okay. Just keep an open mind. Be optimistic. <sighs> drink more water. I'll, I'll be definitely getting that because my ass need to drink more water too. What's this Holy Spirit? Love is enough. Giving everything won't make them happy. That's what I'm getting. Even if you gave them everything that they wanted, they still going to blame you for what they don't have. Okay, these are people who are very ungrateful. They're very, they're never satisfied. And that's why they're going through what they're going through now. They're greedy. Greed is why these people are struggling. Greed is why they're going through poverty. Greed. It's not just their finances. It's their mindset and it's their health. Greed. Aging is beautiful. You guys are beautiful. Let love in. That's what I'm getting. Some of y'all let love in. Doesn't matter how old you are, love is out there, you guys. Make new friends. Change your diet. It's time to change your diet, Aquarius. All right, let's get you. Damn, that shit came out fast. <laughs> All right, you got two cards. So, and so I listen as my soul told me to let the past go so that I may awaken to how much I have grown. 
the past. Releasing, rebirth, springtime. Okay. You got blessings and curses. Psyche, self-love, and beauty. Period. Let's read this for you guys because you guys got to get the full depth of the reading. Okay, so is this part I want to take his damn time. Fast forward. I was like, all right. <laughs> I am awakening and appreciating the flowers of my soul. All right, because period. It says, spring season of the soul. Less mind, more heart. Less thinking, more being. This is a sign of a rebirth, a positive omen of renewal and a reminder that it is time to move on from whatever it is, from whatever, yeah, from whatever it was, from whatever it is, a relationship, a dark night of the soul, a psychological limitation, a challenge, growing pains, or even just generational life, general life stagnation. A change is about to happen or wants to happen, but you may not be letting it, even if it's your subconscious level. Your soul is reaching out to you. Can you feel it? Can you hear it? It is time to let go now. It is time to trust. You have overcome winters of sorts or are about to. It is. It has been harsh in its lessons, but it is no longer serving you. You have already learned what you were meant to. There is no need to continue to overanalyze, hold on to, or ruminate on this winter. You just, you just need to channel your energy in a new direction. Where will you channel this free energy? The seasons are changing within you, whether you want them to or not. Are you resisting because you are too in your head? You're, why do it look like my kids was chewing on this book? I'm so sorry. Your soul is blooming... <laughs> Your soul is blooming from all the rain pain that you alchemize into power, but you have yet to see the garden has grown within you. Everything that you have transformed within you, wisdom, grace, resilience, and shedding of skins, not everything needs to be mentally examined. Sometimes the life source within you just flows without needing your conscious attention. Sometimes we just bloom naturally with the gentle guidance of spirit on our backs. Sometimes our heart is the one that needs to lead. Oh, this is beautiful. So I definitely feel like you guys, your guides are wanting you to allow whatever transformation is happening. Some of y'all, I feel like your heart is changing. Some of you guys are coming out of a place where you had to be very protective over your energy and maybe even very protective over your heart because of all the pain and suffering you maybe went through in your life. But in this new phase of your life, I definitely feel like your guides want you to let go of the past. Some of you guys, you could be revisiting old relationships, old friendships, old family members. And maybe you go through those moments where you probably are in the two of swords where you're like, should I cut this off? Should I not? Maybe you entertain it. Maybe you don't. But I definitely feel like a lot of you guys, your guides are like, let go. Because it's just going to keep you in a place where your heart is keep hardening. Because hardening. I felt like in this reading where I was getting, like I feel like somebody just constantly likes to trigger you. Like, even if, like, you're being nice, you're being kind, these people like to trigger you. Whoever this is, they like to bring out an, a side of you where you feel insecure or you feel low about yourself. And some of y'all, it's like, it keeps you in a place of, like, pain or misery or it makes you question, you know, if love is out there or if you're ever good enough. And you shouldn't feel that way because I feel like in this new phase of your life, you are you need to be open to receiving new love, friendships, relationships, whatever. Let your heart lead, okay? A lot of you guys, your mind could be limiting you from the potential of making new connections, doing new things, or, you know, maybe even pursuing new love interests. Um, because of maybe old past situations that may still be hardening your heart. But I definitely feel like you guys are going through a healing of the heart chakra, but you need to allow yourself to do that and to stop allowing yourself to entertain old energies that made your heart that way in the first place. I'm definitely getting a little bit of that. Like I'm getting a little bit of a mixture of like, oh, I'm so ready for this new beginning, but yet I'm still either entertaining old past energies or you may still be overthinking or rethinking events in your mind that you need to let go of. Let it go. It's time to let go of those thoughts that keep you captive. So I don't know. Maybe it's a need for therapy. I don't know. I'm not a therapist. I'm not a doctor. Um, But maybe you guys just need to talk to somebody. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But... Blessings and a curse, duality, psyche, self-acceptance, and beauty. I accept all parts of myself. I am divine and whole. I mean, they was chewing all on this book. This is ridiculous. 
It says, the red rose, a guide, has come to pay you an important visit. She seeks to heal and ease a pain in your mind and your spirit. There is shame and guilt for who you are lurking in your darkest corners. It is holding you back in ways you might not realize it. She wishes to shine a light there to show you how to love your darkness into the light, how to turn your demons into angels. The thorns we grow come from a place of pain. There are a result of our need to protect ourselves from outside forces. They are defense mechanisms. <laughs> Crazy. Hurt that we can sometimes cause others comes from being hurt ourselves. If you try to pick a rose, it will prick you with its thorns. You might have you might have goodwill, but the rose doesn't know that. It has been fooled and hurt before. However, the thorns are also what makes the rose whole, strong, and powerful. Her thorns are a rose of self-worth, her ability to stand up for herself, her discernment, her ten yeah, her tendencies, and her her persistence to keep going. The things that sometimes harden us also have great gifts to teach us within. The flowers are what the world loves to see us for, our personality, appearance, and what we do. They are also what we can be judged and criticized for. If we are too beautiful, too different, too colorful, too big, too small, too too much, not enough, but the red rose reminds us that we are hand created by the divine. We are divinity itself. This card is also a positive omen that you are reaching or will reach a point in your journey where you learn how to accept all of yourself, your whole, full, and most authentic self. The magic, the mess, the mundane is the parts to the mundane parts too. This will unlock so much grace and power from within you. The beauty you feel within you will shine out of your being, pouring onto and into the world around you. That's beautiful. Practice self-love at this time. That's very beautiful, you guys, because I'm definitely picking up how these two cards come in together. I feel like in order to... Well, I'm getting my chills now. Um, somebody here needs a hug. Um, I feel like my guy just hugged me, but I definitely feel like, um, it says, do not be ashamed, not of your thorns or of your flowers. So some of y'all, there are sides of you where you, you have thorns, you protect yourself, but you have reasons why you do it. But do not also be, a, you know, ashamed of your beauty because some of you guys, your beauty is very threatening to others and it's very intimidating. And unfortunately, you know, it could feel kind of discouraging when you get around a lot of people and they want to, you know, they want to burn your light out. They want to blow out your candle. But there's also a need for you guys to understand that everybody is not like that. Everybody is not has does not have bad intentions. But some of you guys, because of your defense mechanism, you may come off as very like questionable, like you question everything and everybody and, you know, which is understandable because you do have to use your discernment, but it could come off a way as like very sharp. You could be definitely in the queen of swords energy, but I feel like you just want to make sure people have good intentions for you and you just don't want nobody to be playing in your motherfucking face, which I totally understand because who the hell, you know, but at the same time, let love in, you guys. You guys have to let go. And the only way you're going to be able to heal your pain, your past trauma, is if you stop going back to the things that hurt you in the first place. Okay? Rather, you guys, some of y'all, you're like, okay, they ain't got to be in my life. But yeah, I'll have a conversation with them. But they're, they're, what's happening is you're getting on the phone with them or you're engaging with them in some sort of way. And they're triggering your subconscious mind. Because consciously, you're like, yeah, I'm aware that this person is an asshole. But your subconscious mind, maybe in some sort of way, is still healing um, those parts of you. Especially if this is like, say, if it's like your mother. You know, your subconscious is like still craving a love um, from your mother that your mother is not willing to give you. And your conscious is like, no, this person's an asshole. I don't want to be around them. But your subconscious mind still maybe thinks about the relationship you and your mother could have had or used to have and it's just not the same anymore every time you get on the phone with them it's just a bitter taste in your mouth and you're like why do i keep getting around this person and every time they throw some sort of shade at you or side comment at you it triggers that subconscious mind to going into a fight or flight mode okay so just be careful okay because you don't want to allow people to come in on your healing journey and keep you know poking holes everywhere so just be mindful of that but i'm getting these are pain pain from your past that you have not let go of or people 
or situations that you still hold on to that it's time to let go because there's new energy trying to make room. I feel like you guys need to make room for new energy in your life. I'm also getting new experiences, okay? Because some of y'all, you, 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 maybe you haven't experienced a real love before when it comes to companionship relationships. Maybe you haven't never had a real friend before, so... Um, just allow yourself to grow. We have, I know that I am the only person who can bring forth the creativity that lies within my body. I am magic. Yeah, you are a very magical being. Use your energy. It creates your creativity. I'm also getting well, have some fun pleasure. You guys aren't, uh, you could be stripping yourself of pleasure. See, this is beautiful. I know that incredible things happen when I surround myself with supportive people. I am loved exactly. It's time to surround yourself around supportive people, people who support you on this new journey. I know that I am the only one who determines what is and isn't right for me. I have the final say. Yeah, you have the final say. Everything is up to you. This is your choice. You have you at the end of the day. It doesn't matter how many readings I give. You have the final say. You know what is right for you and you know what's not. And maybe you guys could also be around somebody who's trying to tell you right from wrong, but you know what is right. And if you're doing what's best for you, that's all that matters. You have the final say. It's okay to consider other people's advice and opinions, but you have the final say. Like the video if it resonates. Comment down below if you felt the vibe. Subscribe. The reading don't resonate today. Maybe next time. Peace.